so we just got this still FS 111R. It is a weed eater. It is a very powerful weed eater, I've decided. I really like it. It's, um, it's very smooth operating, super easy starting. Um, it's not, it, it, with the amount of power that it has, what is it, I think it's like 31 cc's, it's not a very heavy um, piece of equipment, which is nice when you're weed whacking because uh, you're using a lot of your, your arms to move these around and, and trim and cut things. Um, I've been using this now for, I want to say, a couple weeks. Uh, when we first got it, I had our nephew go around and weed whack a bunch of areas. He complained that it was consuming way too much fuel and he wasn't able to get as far as he wanted to with anything. Um, but I think what he was doing was he was holding it at open throttle as he went around, um, which I don't recommend doing really ever. What I like about it is that it is powerful enough that I can hold it at about half throttle, just lightly have my finger on the trigger. I don't have to squeeze very hard walk around and it does the job for me. If I need to rev it up, I know I have the power, but I don't like having a piece of equipment that I have to rev uh, at full power constantly to do the job I want it to do. I only want to be revving it at about half power uh, to accomplish most of the work that needs to be done because uh, that tells me that I'm not going to be burning out my engine anytime soon. We had a slew of weed whackers in the barn. I went through every single one of them. Okay, James, fix it. <laughs> You'd think with so many of these weed wreckers that I would be able to get something running. Uh, one was a Craftsman, uh, two were Troy built. Now there's no difference between the Craftsman and the Troy builts. Uh, pretty much the same exact thing. And then one was a John's Red. I can't remember what was wrong with this one. Guess I fixed something. Magically. The John's Red was my go-to weed whacker for a very long period of time. I left it in the bed of the truck. It rained, it got flooded out. I couldn't get it restarted. But I loved that weed whacker. It was a very powerful weed whacker, but it was heavy. Um, had a lot of different attachments for it, but I believe you can get attachments for still too. I haven't uh, gone into a whole lot of that. The, the Troy Belts, I probably only used three or four times. And then the Craftsman was one that was given to us, but like I said, it's the same thing as the Troy built. And the Craftsman still looked new, but they were having trouble starting it. When I did a compression test on all of them, except for the John's Red, um, well, that one didn't do perfect, but it had the best compression. And it had probably been used the most. The, the, all of the, the Troy builts and the Craftsman had compression issues. Which is stupid because that's where like the air filter is and everything. I had to take off the sides, the, the top, or the pulley string thingy. Yeah. Just to get this off, to get into here. It's extra. I mean, I could have gotten to the spark plug outside of it, but the wire pulled apart. Open. This is a game to see which one of these is going to run. So that one's holding at 90. So that one with the broken handle, I at least got a 90. So if you want, because we know that that one over there is frozen. Yeah. You could try and take apart the handles and replace the handle on it. 
fixing things is the same thing as taking it apart. You just put it back together again. We'll see what happens. I will not be on this. That will come back together on my board. But it will definitely come apart one way or another. Okay. <laughs> Which tells me that they're not designed for the amount of uh, weed whacking that we have to do out here because to burn out a motor after four or five times of use is just bad news. I will say that with the still and all of my Husqvarna's, I use Husqvarna fuel uh, mix and they'll even tell you to use a still fuel mix or an equivalent quality. I would consider Husqvarna equivalent quality when it comes to the fuel mix and um, there's a there's a big difference between True Fuel, Husqvarna Fuel, and some of the other brands, and that is the oil, the quality of the oil. You you have to have a good quality oil and the gas. Well, I think they're all ethanol free, but um, oil quality makes a big difference in these machines, especially something that uh, revs very high. So the True Fuel, I do not recommend. Um, the Husqvarna Fuel, I highly recommend. And if you're running still or Husqvarna, you almost need to use a high quality fuel like that. Anyway. You don't have to rev these at full blast. They're pretty powerful just with a light uh, touch of the trigger. That, to me, uh, tells me that this is gonna be a long-lasting machine because I don't have to rev it full blast to cut through things. For whatever reason, it has not been going through strings as much as my John shirt did. So I'm excited about that. I, I think maybe it just has something to do with the way the head spins that it's not sabotaging itself on the strings. So uh, I'm pleased with that. Uh, overall, I really like this machine. It's, um, like I said, it's a fast starter, super good performer. I don't have to rev it very high. The fuel, you know, like I said, I would use expensive fuel in any machine, um, but I just wouldn't even bother. You know, when it comes to weed whackers with the Troy Bilts, the Craftsman, um, I would stay away from those motors altogether. I did have a Husqvarna that was a lot like this one. It was a very nice one that lasted me for years as well. I had it back in two, that between 2008 and 20, well, when we moved out here in about 2014. What happened to that one was water damage as well. So uh, none of these hold up very well in water damage. And I had replaced my Husqvarna with the John's Red and I've replaced the John's Red now with the Still. And I, I have to say out of all three machines, and I, I hate to say this because I love Husqvarna, but this is probably my favorite weed whacker out of every weed whacker that I have tried. Just the, um, the amount of power, the quietness of it, comparatively speaking, is still pretty loud. Uh, the vibration, it's very low uh, on vibration, which is fantastic, especially when you're holding it, whacking it around. And, um, you know, like I said, the power is, it's a big deal to me. The the strings, I don't know why it's not going through as much string as my other weed whackers. That is, um, I'm not cutting anything different. I'm still cutting some pretty uh, heavy stuff. It is doing quite well with just a standard orange cheap string. So I, I'm going to attribute that to something with the head design of the still over the John Shred and the Husqvarna. Besides that, yeah, I mean, it's a weed whacker, but I, it's definitely worth the money. It's gonna run you a little more than a Husqvarna or the John Stride, but you will feel, when you use this thing, you will feel a difference between those and this one. This one has, I would say, more power than the John Stride, about the equivalent power of the Husqvarna, maybe a little stronger, uh, but I had uh, all of them were pretty equivalent. They were all um, in the low 30 cc's. The, the half throttle power of this, blows my mind. Um, I could cut most of what I need to hit uh, just by pulling the, tr the trigger halfway. I don't have to you know, squeeze it all the way open, which does conserve on fuel. I don't use as much fuel at half throttle um, and I can cover a lot more ground. And that's the other thing, when you're dealing with this much property, um, the bigger, heavier duty machines are going to outlast the, uh, the small stuff at Lowe's any day of the week. It might cost you 150 bucks for a Troy built, and it might, and that it could come with all sorts of different attachments that you could put on there. And it's $400 or 360 thereabouts for one of these. 
but you will go through see I went through four Troy builds since we've been out here um, in the time that I've gone through a John's Red and now you know this still I'm pretty sure that these will um, last for years as long as I keep them out of the weather this time so great machines highly recommended I'll post a link below